Hey guys, welcome back to Ravenhawk Tech. So here we are in Tennessee, in Cleveland, Tennessee. Uh, we're at my friend Nick's house. We're going to go ahead and do a testing of a, a motherboard tester from Wish and from Amazon. I'm going to put them up here on the screen. Uh, this is Nick Hurst. How y'all doing? It's actually pronounced horse, horse, but it's all good. I am sorry. I just asked you that too. <laughs> uh, and this is the motherboard that we're going to be testing. Now, Nick, what exactly are the issues? What's going on? So the motherboard will power up, stays on, gets to about where it says Windows is loading, shuts itself off. You'll get about 35, 45 seconds the first time it boots. Then you'll get about 25, 30 seconds, then it'll drop to like 15, and the third time you try turning it on, it won't even boot. And what have you done testing-wise so far? So far, the only thing I've done is changed the uh, CMOS battery. But um, I'm really out of my element. I have no idea what to do to it, so that's why I called you. Okay. Um, go ahead and cut. The first one we're going to go ahead and test is the one that actually came from Wish. Now this is going to be a very unique scenario because, as you can see from the setup here, we do have it on a non or an insulated surface, so it's not on metal. So we got that good. So hopefully we won't have any issues with that. We also are testing this with a power supply that he did have. Uh, this is not the one that he's going to have in his case, but this is one we have available for testing. Now, these motherboard testers both use a PCI slot, and luckily this board happens to have PCI slots. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug this in, and you're going to be able to see on this screen here, once it kicks off, the commands. Now, this is a way to power on a motherboard if you don't have a power switch, but it, it's not the recommended way, but it is the way we're going to go ahead and do it. So if you look carefully here, and I'm actually going to pull out my thing here, you'll see where all of the connectors are, and these two pins right here at the end are the power switch. Okay? So what you do is you're just going to short those. Now since this board is outside of the case, we don't happen to have a button that's readily available. I'm going to show you a way to power on this board, but is not one that I'd recommend to do on a routine basis. Now, if you look very carefully on the pin header here where you normally would plug it into the computer, there are these two pins right here. Now what's going to happen is you just short them together and ta-da! The system is on, and we're starting to receive our values. Soft reset power on. Let's see processing, optional re. Uh -oh. All right. So with the first card, we got to the point where it goes ahead and is processing all the ROM area. Uh, it immediately power cycles off. It actually powers off faster when we don't reset it. So that kind of is a little worrying to me. But we're going to go ahead and test the adapter from, or the tester from Amazon. See if we get the same location. That's in Chinese. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, well that's not in Chinese. Okay, so here's a fun little fact. And there's very little instructions that came with either of these. Uh, this one, which was from Wish, is in English. <laughs> This one, which I currently have plugged into the motherboard, which came from Amazon, which I specifically ordered on an English, you know, American, yada yada yada, no way that I could have gotten it mess up or messed up, defaults to Chinese, it looks like. So unless I can figure out in enough time for the system to stay on, the one from Amazon is a dud, at least for now. Um, so let's see if we can figure out further. Uh, we'll go ahead and 
do some little bit of fiddling with this and I'll get back with you in just a second. Big hands. Come on. Come on. I hate those fucking things. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this with nothing. With no CPU, no RAM. It should give us errors, but it should, if it's either one of those, should just stay on. Okay. So, the fun part's going to be, there, the only way of knowing if it's on. <laughs> Check the PCU and power box. That's saying signal error with the power. Which is funny because not seeing CPU or air, uh, RAM error yet. Okay, let me... I'm just counting the seconds to see if it stays on, hey? Hold up, yeah, sorry. I'm gonna just... Mm -hmm, it's okay. Alright, reseated the uh, ATX power mm. cable. Let's see if that makes a difference. Well, same thing. Let's just see if we can get it to s how long it'll stay on. I guess we probably should have a timer. <laughs> but you know. Yeah. Should be here any time it'll kick off. If it stays on much longer, we've broke a record. Then we throw the RAM back in. That RAM's not the one you normally, you tested no, it before though. that's the one that came with that motherboard you gave me last time I saw you. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's staying it's on. on. Okay. So, but you can bowl back. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the board. Just for sake of stupidity, I want to test part at the time. Let's start with this. Which one do we have? It? CPU fan. Alright. Somebody told me to do this. This was one of the things that they told me to do on that page. I just haven't had the time. Well, the good news is that's... There. The good news is, is now we have the tester too. Alright. The likelihood of it being the fan though is... Low. I was actually really hoping it was the processor. Well, due to the sake of uh, making sure it's that, and the fact that this particular fan is a pain to put back on, yeah. <laughs> we'll check the RAM next, and then the CPU last. That's crazy, because it's staying. It's not kicking off at all. It wouldn't. I wonder if the monitor. We'll try that next. We'll plug yeah. it in with the monitor. All right. But yeah, that's Maybe. not kicking off. Okay. I'm basing it on your time because I don't. All right, we good? Yeah. All right. Like I say, it gives you like 30 seconds tops right. before it was kicking in. off. Now, if you use. Let's see, this will. Uh, well, without the CPU, it won't really kick off too much when it comes to the video card or anything. I was just wondering if it might be the uh, cable somehow, yeah. yeah. I got some of the uh, initial shots, maybe I can calculate a time. I think the couple times it was less than... Yeah. Because it was kicking almost right off. You weren't even able to mess with the little thing. Yeah. Now would be the time to hook your other one in there and try to figure out how to set it to English. <coughs> yeah, actually, it's not a bad idea if I could find right quick. Because, yeah, that's you giving can, me you hope it. that it's staying on. Yeah. Okay, so since it's staying on now, we can try this. Looking at, since I don't speak Chinese and I don't want to go through translator, I use the menu from this one since they're the same chip, apparently. And let's just say we go basic choices. You'll see nothing for <laughs> setting language. Uh, and then let me go down here. There is nothing. 
So, which means that this particular one from Amazon, unless it just happens to have some secret mode that I can't read, uh, I might have to just return that one. <laughs> yeah, sounds like that's going back. Yeah, unless uh, you know how to read that. All right, three, two, one. This is with RAM fan display. I love the fact that it's saying signal error, check the PSU. Yeah. You know? Or PCU, excuse me, in power box. It's working. Has it cut off? Yeah. You don't have any other FM2 processors. I wish I did. Yeah. I mean, 90% of these are I2s. I don't think there's an FM2 anywhere in there. I need to get, because of your denting there, I need to get you a better storage box for these, because... They're all, like I say, they're all I2s. They're like $5 a piece. Yeah. I have one of those. Got some Intel Core 2 Duos, some Semfrons. The Phenon's not an FMC, is it? No. Final part. Everything put back together. You got your timer ready? <laughs> Code initializing soft reset power on optional RAM. Press F1 if you can. Okay, let's just leave it in the BIOS menu. Okay, go ahead and show up the screen up there. Wow, what's it showing? I don't know, but it's staying on. All right, keep me. Okay, well, we reset everything. Pulled the CPU, pulled the RAM, checked everything. As you can see from the shot earlier, it's staying on. So the only thing I did notice, by the way, Nick, is when I go to put the CPU back in, I had to, uh, it went in, but if I pushed it a little harder, it finally clicked. So I'm wondering if it just wasn't fully seated. Now, you hadn't taken the CPU out, right? No, no. that's what I thought. So when you... Yeah, it, it's staying on. Okay, so... I never would have gotten this far. You ordered it for $60 on, what was it, Facebook, Facebook Market? Facebook Marketplace, yeah. yeah. I'm wondering if they sold it to you because it was powering off. And they probably messed with it. Like, maybe they went to go upgrade the CPU or something. Because, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. All right. I think this was a successful mission. Uh, Amazon, I am going to uh, have to take a look at that uh, post because I didn't order it in Chinese. All right. Till next time, I'm William Baca.